bell jar model. And this plastic part represents the thoracic cavity, while this rubber band at the bottom or membrane represents the diaphragm. And then of course the balloons represent the lungs, this will represent the trachea. So every time that our diaphragm contracts, it goes down towards the abdominal cavity and the thoracic cavity expands. And this will help to decrease the pressure inside the lungs so you can inhale. So contraction of the diaphragm then helps in inhalation and two thirds of the air that we breathe is brought because of the action of the diaphragm. Now when the diaphragm relaxes, it goes back into the thoracic cavity and that will compress the lungs, increasing the intercommunary pressure, thus helping in exhalation. So when I pull this membrane, you will see how the lungs expand and when I release it, the lungs will collapse, helping in exhalation. So that's the, the process. Inhalation, contraction of the diaphragm, relaxation of the diaphragm, exhalation.